guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you an exciting homemade face mask. And this one is a special one because it's something that I've always wanted to do but then I never had courage just because of the ingredients it has. Now it's the charcoal face mask. It's the face mask that everyone that's been talking about. The two ingredients that you'll need is glue, the Elmer's glue which is a non-toxic one. This is the one that every kid, I think they use this at school. So obviously you need to be non-toxic because you don't want it to damage your skin. And second one is the activated charcoal. Now this one it says it contains small chambers and cavities that capture or bind up unwanted wanted materials and gas. Interesting, so not only you can use it to make a face mask, but for other reasons as well. So the most important questions that everyone is asking, does this face mask actually work? Does it actually clear those unwanted pores and also give you that flawless skin? Now, do these actually work? Well, I really hope so it actually does. So why not join making this face mask with me and we'll soon find out at the end of this video. Right, so first of all you need to make sure you have a bowl. It can be any bowl, it can be a small one. I've got a clear one so you can see the face mask. Next you need to grab uh, the charcoal capsule. So this is what it actually looks like. Now I'm going to grab about three. What you need to do is twist it and try and see if you can open it and this is how it should look like. Grab another one. Oops! Great, made a mess. So this is what happens when you're making a face mask and you're making a mess everywhere. Next, we'll be grabbing the Elmer's glue. And then use a brush to stir it. Just gonna add a bit more glue. Stir it till everything is all mixed well and till you get this colour, this nice black colour. And then next I will show you what to do. Once you make sure that you've got a headband and a towel, you can now start with the procedure. I'm so excited to do this. A little bit scared, but she'll be fine. Ooh. It was cold. <laughs> now, I'm going to be applying the mask all over my face and of course avoid the eyes area and your lip round here. And also, this actually will be pulling all the little hairs that you've got on your face. So. Please avoid your eyebrows because you don't want to be pulling them as well. I'm going to be applying a thick layer so the mask will work out properly. I don't know if you can see but it's starting to get a little bit bubbly so I'm going to put another layer on top of it. Now the area I want to focus on is the, my nose the most because that's where I've got lots of pores. So when you're actually making this mask, um, just focus on areas you want to um, pull your pores out. So be extra careful when you're doing this area around your eyebrows because you definitely don't want to be pulling them off. 
and you will definitely need a small brush because you have a big brush it will not apply properly as you want to make sure you're actually applying where you want to in the small areas especially around your eyes and your eyebrows Ooh. don't I look beautiful <laughs> It actually feels nice and fresh. It feels really good. As you can see, it's starting to bubble up. I don't know the reason why. It could be the glue. So I'm just gonna keep applying to it. Oopsie. I <laughs> ended up getting a bit on my eyebrow. Don't want that, do I? <laughs> I look really shiny. <laughs> Probably end up scaring the kids away with this face like that. Right, so the applying to the face mask is done. Now this is what it looks like. As you can see, my face looks really shiny. Now, hopefully it will dry very fast. Hopefully be about 20 minutes. If so, maybe more. Fingers crossed this will all go well. <laughs> so after 20 minutes, this is how it looks like. It's still got some areas that are still wet. And you can tell it's drying up because obviously I can't speak properly because it's really tight on my face which hopefully will be about another 10 minutes you can see it everywhere there so guys it has been over 30 minutes and I still have wet patches over here over there it's still wet as you can see it could be because on this area I put more than two layers of the mask on just because I wanted it thick so I'm going to be using a hair dryer just so I can let it well I'm going to make it dry quicker Okay, so, wow, that took long. So, I hope it's tears completely dried now. Because if it's not, then this will actually work. So, but it does feel it's dry. Oh, I can see this bit of coming off now. So, yeah, so this is how it looks like after 30 minutes and 5 minutes of using the hair dryer. <laughs> No, this is the exciting part. I'm really excited. Oh, I really hope this doesn't hurt because if it does, then I'll be in pain and I don't want to be in pain. So we see if this actually mask work or not. Let's start. Oh. 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 You know when you're like, I can feel it. I feel like it's pulling a bit my hair. Is. <laughs> okay, I've got to do this really slowly because I can tell it's going to hurt. Right, so I say start on the edge here because it'll be easier to pull it. Oh, oh. 
Mamma mia. Oh, <laughs> it does hurt. Okay. Deep breath. I can do this. Alright. I think because I have like hairs around here, so it hurts even more. That's probably the reason why I can feel some pain. Ooh. Oh, this area, especially around the eyes. Oh. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay, it's getting there. Not too bad, come on. So. Getting in there slowly. Getting there. <sighs> Another deep breath. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's just round when you know round the edges. It's starting to hurt a little bit but then you get used to the pain Ooh. oh did you, did you hear that i felt that hair coming off oh <laughs> this is painful this i definitely said this edge part is not really more painful Now this is going to be the hardest part, <laughs> the hardest part will be definitely around the eyes area. Okay, now I'm going to keep the nose to the last part because that's the area I want to clean my, tool, my, my claws, my um, paws. Ooh, now that's painful. This area is painful. Wow. I've did it, guys. So, after all of that, this is the... <laughs> the mask that just came off my face now by looking at this I can see my hair has been pulled off and a few of white heads now I don't know if you can see it but hopefully you can Anyway, so that's my beautiful mask that I've taken off the face. Right guys, so after you have rinsed your face and took all the excess charcoal you had left, this is how it feels like. This is the result. 
the skin feels really nice and soft and smooth but the only negative side to it is that it does give you some soreness because I'll have a red patch over here and I think a little bit over here as well now it's normal because obviously I did have glue in my face and when you pull it it is a little bit painful now according to my previous question before does this face mask work yes it does work I probably expected a bit too much in terms of pulling all the the pores out of my nose it didn't take that much maybe I don't have any but I was expecting a bit more apart from that from the face mask I can see there's been a lot of sorry don't worry, a lot of facial hair that's been pulled so yeah it does actually work I would recommend this if you have loads of pores around your nose you don't have to do it all the way around your face you can just do your nose and the top bit there and the bottom of the chin the air is really where you want to focus on really so guys if you have enjoyed my video please give a like and subscribe and if you are trying this face mask yourself please let me know and tell me what you think about it and i'll see you on my next video thank you goodbye